A Russian base in occupied Crimea was rocked by multiple large explosions this week, which caused significant damage to buildings as well as combat aircraft. Importantly, it is far behind the front lines of the ongoing war in Ukraine, almost 200 kilometers or 125 miles away. Ukraine has not officially claimed responsibility for the explosions at Saki Air Base, but privately, Ukrainian officials have been telling the media that Ukraine was behind the apparent attack. If proven, it will be the first major Ukrainian strike on Crimea annexed by Moscow in 2014. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how much real loss the Saki Air Base attack has caused to Russia. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It is risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. By comparing satellite images of the base provided by Planet Labs that were taken before and after the attack, we can get a pretty accurate idea of the losses. Visual evidence indicates Russia lost at least four Su-30SMs and seven Su-24Rs. The Sukhoi Su-30 is a twin-engine, two-seat, super-maneuverable fighter aircraft developed in the Soviet Union by Russia's Sukhoi Aviation Corporation. It is a multi-role fighter for all-weather, air-to-air and air-to-surface deep interdiction missions. Su-30SM is a modernized version produced and has a NATO reporting name, Flanker H. The Su-30SM is considered a 4-plus generation fighter jet. The Sukhoi Su-24, NATO reporting name Fencer, is a supersonic, all-weather attack aircraft developed in the Soviet Union. The aircraft has a variable sweep wing, twin engines, and a side-by-side -side seating arrangement for its crew of two. MR is the dedicated tactical reconnaissance variant. As per unconfirmed reports, some ammunition storage and a few Mi-8 helicopters have also been destroyed. It is still unclear how the strike has been accomplished, but it is evident it has inflicted a heavy loss. It will surely have an immediate impact on the Ukrainian front in the short to medium term. These aircraft will be hard to replace since Russia is facing sanctions and may not be able to acquire the required chips and specific components used in these, so there are long-term implications too. Just like the loss of the Black Sea flagship Moskva, Kremlin has tried to downplay the incident, but the impact is significant. It is also bound to have a psychological impact. A wave of panic swept over the residents of Ukraine's Russian-occupied Crimea. It even prompted some tourists to leave the region, with videos posted to social media appearing to show traffic jams on roads approaching the bridge that links the Crimean Peninsula to the Russian mainland. The fact that Crimea can be attacked is a horrible scenario for Russia. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.